Good Tuesday evening, everybody. Another mild today here, allowing for a lot of slop to develop out there. Kind of a sloppy, slushy couple of days here, and that weather will likely continue. Watch out though tonight, 38 degrees, still well above the freezing point, but will likely get down into the upper 20s, lower 30s around the capital, and uh, there could be some refreezing. So a little black ice out there uh, here tonight into tomorrow morning. Great Falls, 41 degrees, gusts are at 43 miles per hour right now. It is very windy up from Great Falls, up I-15, and uh, up off towards the northwest off the Rocky Mountain front. We will likely not get below the freezing point tonight for Great Falls and some areas there into the north central part of the state, but uh, temperatures generally in the 30s and the 40s, couple of 20s, Dillon and West Yellowstone. The wind, these are the sustained winds, gusts to 43, sustained winds at 30 miles per hour. How about 43 mile per hour sustained winds in Livingston? Yeah, very windy out there on the east side of Bozeman Pass, and the wind will continue here through tonight, through Wednesday, but it eases up a little bit here on Wednesday, certainly through the afternoon and the evening. A little front will go through, and we'll see the wind switch around to the north. A little colder air come in briefly, very, very briefly, for Wednesday night into Thursday, because by the time we get into Thursday afternoon, already the wind starts to shift, not very strong, but starts to shift out of the south, and that will allow warmer temperatures to return for Friday and then also Saturday. Nothing going on the radar here. Nice rain moving into Southern California. We're finally getting rid of that winter storm that blanketed much of the country with snow, including Montana here. There that storm goes moving up out of the New England area into uh, Labrador province. And then we've got another storm that will stay really to the south of Montana. We've got just a little front that will push through from the northwest. I know it's hard to even see anything, but it's that minor of a system that will be coming through as we get into Wednesday night and Thursday. Little snow up there around the Whitefish Range, the Mission Range, the uh, around the Swan Range, Glacier National Park, picking up some of that snow as well. But overnight Wednesday into Thursday, there may be just a touch of some light snow from Great Falls out through the Lewistown area in the central part of the state here. Not enough to even really coat the ground, but uh, just a little light snow. And then heading into Friday, a little warmer air and some sunshine, and that uh, fresh snow will be melting here. But look at all that moisture moving in for Saturday, which should hold off for the most part until Sunday, uh, where snow will become more widespread. And it'll accumulate here on Sunday. There's the accumulation through Thursday, mainly in the mountains, but watch everything fill in right here as we head through Saturday night into Sunday. Couple inches of snow in the lower elevations. Here's the forecast for tomorrow. Little cold front just off towards the north. Highs once again, 30s and 40s. Windy once again off of the Rocky Mountain front. Fairly benign weather once again. Thursday, there goes that little front. Temperatures cooling back down into the 30s to around 40 degrees. Again, maybe a little snow in the morning around Great Falls and Lewistown. That's Thursday. Friday, we're back up well above the freezing point here for just about everywhere with a decent amount of sunshine. And then heading into Saturday, the next storm closes in. Enjoy that warmth because we're back to cold and snow on Sunday. Maybe an inch or two here in the Helena Valley, maybe a couple of more inches up into the higher terrain, but that's really the only uh, unsettled weather, let's just say, here over the next uh, seven days. Maybe a rain shower tomorrow evening around Great Falls, a couple of flurries Thursday morning, and a couple of inches on Sunday. Looking uh, longer range out into the middle and end of next week, we could have an even colder air mass coming down from Canada here, so be watching that closely. We will. That's Tis the season, to... Sam. Yeah, how do you feel about that? Ah. Uh. So exciting. Yay. How, how do you feel about sports? I love, I love yeah. that transition. Thank you. <laughs> hey, 